all right guys welcome back we're doing another boat mods video for you here's another five fishing boat mods uh, you guys really liked the last video that we did um, I think it was a year ago and I'm sitting in the exact same spot in the exact same boat I might even have the exact same shirt on I'm not sure I gotta double check that but uh, same weekends 4th of July weekend and I got some more mods for you for your fishing boat so let's get right into it. I'm going to link everything down in the description below for you guys to find. So make sure you check out that last video that we did. It was a top 10 cheap boat mods. This one's going to be kind of a mix. A um, few cheap things, a few expensive things. We'll start off with a, a cheaper mod here. And this is one that goes right up on the bow for me. It's the Groove Launch Pad. I did a video on the Groove products a little while ago. They sent me some stuff, but I've been using this and it works awesome. Uh, the other product that they have is this right here and it's for like crankbaits and spooks and things. And I'll kind of show you how that works, but really I'm, I'm mostly impressed with this launch pad because you can, it's, it's a little more versatile. So let's just uh, go grab a couple baits and I'll show you what I mean. So let's say you fish with this, you're all done, but you might want to use it again. You just push it right into here, like that, and there she sits. Like I said, I'm mostly impressed with this um, launch pad here, and I actually wish I had a few more of these. I might have to pick up a few more, but they're really for, I think they're pretty much designed for like jigs and stuff. So after you're done fishing a jig, you can take it and put it right in there. It's a silicone. Um, material just like um, some of the new fly boxes are and stuff it grips onto that lets it dry you can hang a whole bunch of them on there and the reason I really like this is because you can hang spoons like trolling spoons you stick that in there anything with a hook you can hang in there and I kind of wish I had some more of these because I would put a few in the back when I'm done trolling and letting my spoons dry out I could put them in the back there, stick them on the boat. Just got a super sticky, like a 3M backing on there. So that's a nice little cheap mod for you guys. Um, the next one, we'll kind of go back and forth. This one's a little bit more expensive, but really not that bad. Um, so this bow I have is a 2005, and um, you know it doesn't have some of the you know modern amenities that uh, some of the newer boats do. So I've been kind of upgrading it and. Uh, one thing I did recently was I installed a radio on this boat. Found this um, radio on Amazon. I'll link it down below. And so far it's worked awesome. And uh, it's pretty small. So here it is right here. This is the unit itself. All you need is a three inch hole saw to mount this. So you drill into your dash or wherever you're mounting the head unit here. You drill a three inch hole and there's a bracket on the back and then you just wire it in. It's super simple. It comes with two speakers. I mounted one of my speakers right here. It's a nice black color. The other speaker I left at home. I only need one speaker in this boat and I'm just going to use the second one as a backup if that one ever, you know, blows out on me or whatever. Uh, you know, long days trolling. If you're not getting bites, it gets a little boring. So, so what, one thing I did do uh, where the back of my speaker is, which is right here, I built this white piece here out of PVC trim board and I just put it up against the back of that speaker so the wiring and the back of the speaker doesn't get damaged from putting my bags and gear in and out of here. Uh, pretty simple little little hack there to make that work. Uh, I wired mine right into one of the accessory switches. So you got radio, you've got Bluetooth capability. So if you have, um, let's turn that off. So if you have uh, Spotify or any type of thing like that, you can play it through this. Um, it also comes with a plug here to charge your phone and to plug your phone directly in. So, I mean, it's a pretty good value for, for what it is. Um, you know, it's a it's hundred and some odd dollars. Not too bad. It also comes with this rubber, like, protective thing. All right, so now we'll get you guys with a cheap mod here. This one's, this one's a pretty good one. I've been using this for two years now and I really love this thing. I've I've always been like, you, you know, you're always tying on stuff, always trimming off line. You've got bent up, beat up hooks. 
you know, you get bird's nest, things like that, and you have all this line blowing around your boat, you don't want it to get washed down and go into your bilge or, you know, blow out into the lake or whatever. So uh, I bought this thing. It's a fish pond product, and I love fish pond. They've really got a lot of good quality uh, gear. I use a lot of their stuff for fly fishing. And I uh, can't say enough good stuff about that company, uh, but they have this thing and it's it's super simple It's just uh, it looks like a coffee mug Or something that you put cigarette butts in but it's called the largemouth piopod, I believe um, And basically it's just a little trash bin. It's it's super simple. I mean you could make one of these if you wanted to uh, I bought one But uh, it's got a silicone top on it here kind of show you I just cut this piece of line off my rod. Um, I needed to trim a piece off and retie on my lure. So now that I got this, I don't have to throw it on the bottom of my boat. I just stick it in here, push it down in, and it doesn't blow out. And then at the end of the day or the end of the month or end of the year, all you gotta do is pop this silicone top off and clean out all of your junk line and everything else and i keep mine right in this cup holder and i've trailered it all over the state this year and it hasn't fallen out and what i've done is i just put a good size rock down the bottom of it i'll, I'll try to get it out and show you guys yeah you can kind of see it down there it's just a good size rock to keep it from like blowing out or kind of popping out of this cup holder it's just been rolling around here like this perfectly fine so i've emptied it out twice already this year just from all the line and crap from switching over lures and all that stuff. So really good product, recommend that. All right guys, so this mod, I took the boat out of the water so I could show you guys, but I put on this last year. It's a Max Prop Saver River Runner. So they have two different types of products here. Uh, this one is the River Runner, which goes on your skeg here. And then they have an actual like prop saver, which goes on like a kicker motor. So it's for smaller outboards. And it's actually like a, a loop uh, made out of the same material here that goes around your prop to uh, you know keep it from banging on logs and rocks and, and gravel and stuff like that and ruining your prop um, but this one's for bigger outboards and they have I think three different sizes of these so you have to make sure you get the right size for your motor and all you have to do um, they give you the instructions it's super simple you just drill four holes through your skeg and make sure you know obviously you're not up into here drilling anything so there's no fluid or anything leaking out but pretty simple you drill through here and it comes with a mounting plate on this side and then you just bolt it down with these nylock nuts here so they're not going to come off and it's a super rugged durable um, piece of metal here that is basically made to protect your skeg for the most part but it also protects your prop so uh, I got into a few situations where I was trolling a lake that I didn't know early in the spring so I was trolling pretty close to shore and you know the depth finder I said I was in plenty of water but I stood up real quick and I saw a whole bunch of boulders in front of me and they were just a few inches under the water maybe like a foot down so I immediately killed the engine brought it up cleared them fine but I thought that maybe I should grab one of these just for low speed like impacts Obviously, if you're ripping across a lake at like 30 miles an hour and you hit something with this, not sure how much it's going to protect, but you know you might be surprised. It might uh, might save your prop, but I'm not sure. Uh, but for low speed, like trolling and stuff, um, this is made for uh, a lot of guys that steelhead fish out in the Pacific Northwest. They run these in the river, um, so they can kind of run these in the gravel and the rocks and stuff and it uh, it saves their skeg from getting beat all to crap in their prop and everything so just kind of a good thing uh, to put on your boat there cheap insurance and pretty good little mod so this next mod is the most expensive mod on this list and uh, but it's a, a really good option especially for guys with older boats like mine that don't have a track system you know built into the side um, even if you do have a track system this works with it and all their accessories do and I just did a video on this, you know, my initial review or install video or whatever you want to call it. So you can go and find that. It's Traxtech Track System. So with these older style boats that have the two inch or two and a half inch, whatever this is, rail, uh, they make a clamp system that just clamps onto the rail and then uses their track system, which this track system is the same system you'd use on a Lund or a Polar Craft or any other type of boat. It's just, you know, how it mounts to this. So uh, the clamps screw on top. There you go, I got a four foot piece. 
Um, I've got a few accessories here. I got the downrigger swivel base, so you pull that, your downrigger swivels around. Um, I got my old Scotty mounts here, which uh, I have to kind of use that for my fly rod when I troll with that because they don't fit in the regular rocket launcher style tubes. And then we have these top of the line. Had to go all out for these ratcheting rod holders. So great for dipsy divers, great for lead core. Uh, when you get a fish on, all you gotta do is grab the rod holder, pull it up, pull your rod out, and fight the fish. Ton of adjustability, also has notches here, so you can turn it this way or this way, whatever way you want. So I tried these out for the first time today, and they worked super, super well. Uh, I like how far out these uh, rod tubes really get your lead core lines and get them way out away from the boat. I love the riser with the downrigger, you don't have to bend over as far, but I mostly wanted it because of the adjustability. So I was fishing lead core and downrigger and I could slide the downrigger up. I could have slidden these off with the downrigger, downrigger way up here. Um, it's just a lot of versatility um, and the way that I had my downriggers mounted before was over on this plywood. It wasn't too, too uh, sturdy there so this is a great option. Uh, you know, fairly pricey, but it's an investment for your boat. You can take it off and put it on any boat that you have if you ever upgrade. And they have a, so many different types of uh, attachments and different, you know, trees and trolling bars that go across and rod holders and just like all kinds of stuff. So make sure you check those guys out. So there's five more fishing boat mods for you guys. Hope you liked it. We'll uh, try to do some more of these videos real soon for you guys as the mods keep coming. And uh, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video.